on 15th we have purchase returns to Rama on 15th it is said that we have purchase returns to Rama it is given as return goods to Rama so if you see the transaction on 4th date 4 we have purchased from Rama goods on credit so whenever you buy goods on credit due to certain problems maybe they are not of your uh, uh, quality what you wanted or there is some uh, if the goods have spoiled etc or there are some defects then when it is a credit purchase or it is a credit sale we can return the goods now in a credit purchase we have purchased the goods so we are returning the goods so when we return goods to the seller we say that goods are going out so it is becoming purchase returns it is becoming purchase returns why it is purchase returns because previously we purchased these goods now we are returning them back now again we are returning back to the person from whom we purchase so who is the person we to whom we are returning that is Rama and goods are going out so when goods are going out we call them as purchase returns so the two accounts affected here are Rama account and we say purchases returns account now if you see Rama is the person so when we are giving or sending back the goods to him he will become the receiver so as a result we debit the Rama's account based on personal account rule debit the receiver so the journal entry would be Rama account debit and goods are going out we need to credit the goods so because they are purchased goods returned we will be using the word purchases returns so why we are crediting purchase returns because they are nothing but goods and goods are going out and they are real accounts so credit what goes out the amount being 500 so your narration would be being goods returned to Rama or being purchases returns now the next transaction on 18th is goods returned Amir returned the goods Amir returned the goods so if you see we have sold goods to Amir on credit on second so in as we returned goods to someone because they are defective etc whatever may be the reason similarly when we sell goods on credit and the customers may find some defects or there may be some damages etc as a result they can return the goods so the question of returning of goods arises only for credit purchase of goods or credit sale of goods so on 18th we have Amer returning the goods so Amer has returned the goods so when you see Amer has returned the goods Amer would be the giver of the goods Amir would be the giver of the goods and we are getting the goods and we are getting the goods which goods we are getting the goods which previously we sold the goods which we sold previously so it would be called sales return it would be called sales return later on you will see the another name for sales returns is return in words return inward so we have one account that is sales returns which is representing nothing but the goods what we sold previously and we are getting back now and the other account affected would be the person who is sending back this goods that is Amir so the two accounts affected are sales returns account and Amir account sales returns representing goods is becoming real account and when goods are returned it becomes debit what comes in because the rule says that debit a real account when it comes in so we debit the sales return and say sales returns account debit now we have to credit Amer account because Amer we identify it as a personal account and in this case Amer is giving back the goods to us so the personal account rule says that credit the giver so to Amer the amount being 1000 the amount being 1000 your narration would be being goods returned by Amer now moving on to the next transaction which is on 20th 
it says that advertisement expenses advertisement expenses so we assume it is advertisement expenses paid advertisement expenses paid so as already we understood all expenses fall under nominal account category we classify advertisement expenses nominal account and we know the rule for expense debit all expenses and losses so we would be debiting as a result advertise advertisement expenses account debit and since we would have we have paid cash and cash is a real account and cash is going out we will credit cash so to cash account the amount being 1000 your narration would be being advertisement expenses paid being advertisement expenses paid moving on to the next transaction which is on 23rd it says that cash deposited into syndicate bank cash deposited into syndicate bank the name of the bank is only a reference it doesn't make any big difference so we will account it as bank only so cash deposited into bank 3000 so the two accounts affected would be cash and bank the two accounts affected would be cash and bank so bank is a personal account bank is a personal account and the biz it is receiving cash from the business so therefore we debit bank based on the personal account rule debit the receiver so your entry would become bank account debit to cash why are we crediting cash cash is a real account and you are when we are depositing cash in the bank cash is going out temporarily so the amount being 3000 the amount being 3000 your narration would be being deposit of cash into bank next transaction moving on which is on 25th it states that goods withdrawn for personal use goods withdrawn for personal work or use is one and the same so who a personal use means always it is the owner who takes some thing which belongs to business to his personal work now here the goods are being withdrawn so we have the two accounts one is owner which we always refer with the word drawings when he takes anything for his personal work so we have one that is drawings account and another another account is goods so goods are always how we obtain the goods either we manufacture or we purchase so here we would have purchased the goods so when we purchase the goods we gave it the name purchases so the other account affected would be purchases which is nothing but representing goods so if we analyze owner personal account so therefore drawings is personal account and owner is the receiver of the goods so therefore we debit the drawings account based on the personal account rule so debit the receiver so that's why it becomes drawings account debit 2000 and the goods are real account the goods are real account so we should represent with the word purchases and goods are going out because they are going to owner's place from the business so they are going out so apply the rule of credit what goes out of real account and credit the word purchases so your entry would become drawings account debit to purchases account and the narration would be being goods withdrawn by owner for personal use being goods withdrawn by owner for personal use